Okay, this is Doom 2. You'll notice that I've also switched back to GZ Doom here because I found a wad which will effectively get rid of the lost soul counting towards the kill count. So the pain elementals in Doom 2 are not going to cause any problems with their lost souls clipping into walls. Other than that, same mod setup as last time pretty much. Let's do it. Alright, here's map 1. Famous map. Really good for deathmatch by the way. If you back up, there's a chainsaw. It's not even a secret, but it's just neat. So I always grab it. And yes, this is still GZ Doom, even though it looks a lot more classic than usual. I tweaked the settings a little bit to make it more vanilla. If you shoot in this room, the imps will open up this wall for a secret. Next secret is up here. If you ride this up to the top and open the wall, you get to fight three more imps. And press the switch. Now, make sure you run as fast as you can off this and land on that platform there, because it will open up a rocket launcher over here. We will use that out here, which is what the switch opened. A lot of secrets in this map, as you can already tell. And we've got the shotgun. We'll use the rocket on these imps here. Didn't kill both of them, but that's okay. If you press the switch on the right there, you will unlock some armor and stim packs. And that's the final secret. Alright, and then there's an empathy exit. We're done. Alright, here's Underhalls. This level is pretty famous for being nearly impossible on pacifist mode, which is where you beat the level without harming any enemies. The sheer number of zombies in this level is just absurd. And yes, this is your introduction to the shotgunner. And his shotgun. There are lots of them in this level. Just hordes, honestly. We'll wake up all the zombies in there. See if we can't get them to shoot each other. Alright, looks like they're all either dead or teleported. Let's go in here. Because this room holds the most important item of all. It's the new weapon in Doom 2, the Super Shotgun. And this thing packs a big punch. Let's see. Where do we even begin with this this masterful tool? Well, it can kill a pinky in one hit. It can kill a baron in five. It's approximately as powerful as the rocket launcher with none of the self-damage. It's that good. However, the fire rate does suffer. When we collect the red key here, there's a trap with a bunch of shotgunners and pinkies. Again, just pour the pinkies. It's easy enough. We'll grab some health, because we definitely took a, a bunch of damage there. Alright, here's the second half of the level. It's just more zombie slaughter. Also, I always think it's funny, this shotgunner's completely stuck. He can't even shoot you. Unless you get him. Nope, he can't shoot you at all. This is the most dangerous area of the map here. You can easily die if you just rush forward. So we're gonna blow up the barrels to try and clear it out. There we go. Barely a scratch on us. Alrighty, and we're already done with the level. I didn't even comment on the mega armor secret. You can open a wall over at the staircase place. Also, this is the first necessary jump in Doom. This here. You have to be fairly quick. And 
run just from that ledge into this window. It's the only way up there. And the only way to beat the level. Alright, there's map 2. Here's map 3, the gantlet. I always like to cheese those shotgunners a little bit. Just makes my life easier rounding corners without getting shot like that. Some more zombie slaughter. They're not even a threat. It really is just a slaughter. These guys are kind of a threat though. We got lucky and killed three of them at once. Alright, and here's where Doom 2 really becomes Doom 2, instead of Doom but again. The Chain Gunner. There are at least eight of them in this map. They are so incredibly deadly. Oh yeah, and another one teleports when you get far enough along. I'm taking a lot of hits here. Grab the medikit. Actually, even better, we'll do this incredibly difficult jump in order to get ourselves a soul sphere. And there we go, first try. That's actually pretty rare that you get it first try. Basically, the strategy is just uh, strafe and hold forward and angle yourself in just the right way to where you run over the ledge and directly into the pit. It's the only way I can figure that is safe and doesn't damage you like a rocket jump does. We are so stacked on shells. I wonder if there's a backpack in this map. Hint, there is. And one more chain gunner just for good luck. This here is not a secret, but this wall's indented and you can open her up for a backpack. Very, very useful. I love me a backpack. Still no super shotgun in this level though. It's kind of unfortunate. If you land on this box of uh, bullets, you will get more pink, uh, pinkies and specters to open up in this field. And that third box will open up when you grab the right key. <laughs> Alright, the switch on the left will open up a room full of imps. We might as well rocket launcher them. And it's just some armor bonuses, nothing crazy. Three pinkies up here to kill. We'll kill them with the chain gun, it's much easier than any other way. And a fourth one. There we go. Map three. Fairly easy so far. But now, map of four. Here we go. This is where the number of zombies does get a little bit out of control. Doom is now comfortable shooting chain gunners left and right all over the maps. So this, this is definitely one of the toughest starts in, in any Doom level. Shotgunners on your left, chain gunners in your front. Just every manner of chaos. Oh, we are out of bullets, that's bad. Okay. There's also an extra shotgunner behind that wall, which you can open for a secret. Collect all these shotguns, beautiful. And some health. Now if we go up here, kill some zombies, and press the switch, the blue key will lower, which we acquire by going this way. Pretty straightforward so far. When you grab it, a door will open around the corner here with some imps in it. Not really a threat. And there's a specter in this pond, or sewage, whatever you want to call it. You'll notice that wall there looks a bit misaligned, and you can open up the misaligned part for a chain gunner. 
Just kidding, it's for a super shotgun. Another chain gunner immediately in there. You can turn to the right and press the switch to turn on the lights if it's too dark for you. If you step on the box there, it will lower uh, another box. Bit of a strange way to do it. The switch doesn't seem to do anything as far as I can tell. It's a repeatable switch though, so it, it felt like it should do something to me. But no, you step on the box. Alright, make sure you step down slowly here to tag the secret. If you, if you jump directly to the teleporter, there's a chance you may miss it. Alright, and the final fight is here. When you grab the yellow key, these doors open up with a bunch of chain gunners. There we go. And we're gonna take both paths here to kill all the enemies. But that switch there is enough to... Let's see. Oh, I've been, I don't usually see the spectrum teleport up like that. To the exit. Let's go. And that's it. And Doom likes its surprise pinkies. Here's map 5, the Waste Tunnels. This is the first long-ish map. We're almost at the end of episode 1, actually. Auto switch definitely scammed me a bit there. Alright, we will grab... Let's see. No, we won't grab the Soul Sphere just yet. We're gonna take this trap with the imps. And grab some health. Here's another imp trap with more health. And armor. Very useful. You can't open this by pressing it. You have to step over in a specific way. And the third imp trap... All you have to do to trigger the traps is just walk near them. Good, the chain gunners are in fighting. I knew that guy was going to shoot at me. Alright, chain gunners are eliminated. We're a lot safer now. Let's step over here for a secret. This isn't the secret. You can open this wall. Excuse you. You can open that wall, and when you do, this floor also lowers and reveals a plasma gun. I'm keeping that lowered because I want to kill some imps. Ah, dang it. Oh well. And more imps that are angry at us over here. I call this the hit scanner hallway. Even though that really goes to the focus. And this is why I killed the imps in advance. Just so that we'd have a safe way to get this soul sphere. And behind it is Berserk. It's a secret. We're gonna use that Berserk in this room over here to fight the imps. Ow. I hate when they don't die. And now that these arrows on the floor specify which switch does what. So this one opens the door on my left. This one opens a door on my right, full of shotgunners. And mega armor. And this one opens the wall behind me to another area with more hit scanners. Let's get in there. Up. Also a pinky here. Very sneaky. Whoa, do not get the rocket launcher out from the zombie man. Some lost souls up there. 
proof that I did fix them, I'll kill them and you can watch the kill counter on the bottom right. See? Did not go up. Thank god. Now it's more zombie manslaughter. Hit a few imps as the cherry on top. Another great thing about the super shotgun, it takes these guys out in one hit. And here's the new enemy. Oh my. He's just half of a baron, except he does the same amount of damage. Alright, and let's go to the final room. This is a fairly big fight if you don't take it slow. And here's our friend the Kakodemon. Three of them to be exact. They go out in two super shotgun blasts if you're lucky. Usually three. Let's see, let's take care of all the specters because they like to block me on my way to the secret. I can't even see them. Which I guess is the point. Yeah, we'll just jump down and take care of them then. Alright, we're gonna strafe run here and get ourselves some extra ammo, which we're not gonna be able to use because we're done. An unfortunate side effect of pistol starting everything. Oh, right. there is number five. Pretty fun level. Here's map six the Crusher. Yes, you did hear correctly. There's a spider mastermind in this level. But don't worry, he's actually not a threat. This Revenant, on the other hand, definitely is. So we will take care of him as quickly as we can. And that's almost all the enemies in this area. Let's also go ahead and grab the secret Megasphere. The way that you're supposed to figure it out is that this wall looks slightly different. It's got the little circuitry and symbols on it. And yeah, there's a new item, the Megasphere. Puts you at max health and armor no matter what you're at. Now we will crush the spider demon. Oh, perfect. Now what I wanted to happen there was for the imp to hit the spider demon so that she wouldn't target me. But unfortunately it doesn't seem like we got it. I'm gonna leave those imps alone because we'll come back for them. They are guarding some good plasma ammo. Oh, and the spider demon herself is guarding the plasma gun. We don't even need this soul sphere, to be honest. Sniping with the shotgun is not it's extremely effective. Oh, but the spider demon is dead, and we can go collect the plasma now. There we go. And the crusher stops when you enter it, so don't worry about dying or anything. Alright, y'all are just getting annoyed. So the reason I'm shooting the pistol so slowly is if you let the animation finish before you shoot again, it's perfectly accurate every single shot. So the only reason I miss them is because my aim is bad. But there we go, imps are taken care of. Let's also snag the secret before we forget. I'm not sure why that's a secret, but it totally is. There's only one more secret in this map, so it's very front loaded. We're low on bullets here, so we may, we may be in some danger. Nah, we're good. Infighting saves the day yet again. Let's grab the armor bonuses here, they're helpful. Here comes the 
shotgun or platoon. I don't think that's all of them. Oh, it was. Okay. When you walk up these stairs, some chain gunners will appear. They're kind of annoying. But more annoying are these revenants. Not these. These. These bony boys. They're fairly difficult to fight, effectively. I try to kill one or two and then dart for the super shotgun. Let's do it. Oh, double kill. Very effective, okay. Oh, the Lost Soul actually killed that Spectre for me. Thank you, Lost Soul. Now if we do a very careful jump down here, we can blow up all these barrels and grab ourselves another Megasphere. Alright, you are annoying. And you took my health. Jerk. There are some imps here. And some shells. Very useful. Also another Hell Knight. Wow, are you a sniper or what? So you can snipe with the chain gun in a similar way as the pistol by doing this uh, awkward rhythm that I'm doing. Very neat trick. Pretty fun to pull off too. Kill a revenant from like across the entire map. Alright, all the specters are dead, and the final fight is now. As soon as you grab that yellow key, everything starts to try and swarm you. And there we go. One more enemy left, and it's a surprise pinky, as usual. Hello. That's the Crusher. Another great map. And that's actually the end of episode 1, so I will see you next time for Dead Simple. I'll let the text scroll while I talk. Um, I didn't die here, so there's no death reel. These levels are pretty easy to start with, but they'll get much harder, don't worry. We will get to episode 3 of Doom 1 again, levels where I'm dying left and right. But that's it for episode 1. Thank you guys for watching.